What I find uh, incredible in this training is really that there is a solution to all problems. Now when I shared that there is a solution to all problems on my Facebook page, I got some uh, comments from friends and family um, that it's pretentious and you know, all the stuff that you would think to yourself when you hear something like that. But there is such great conviction in my own experience that really there is a solution to all problems because that's what I tested out in my own experience over the last five years. So I can write on my Facebook page or share with 90, 100 people and have it recorded. So, you know, it, it requires some courage and conviction and assurance to say, well, <coughs> many things that I took myself to be proved themselves to be wrong. And many of the thoughts, emotions, sensations and other experiences that I had and tried really hard to get rid of because I named them in a very biased way, I named them negative and, and now I see that from the, this open intelligence view, opening intelligence, really all of these problems are the dynamic fuel of benefit and potency and actual joy and satisfaction in my everyday life. So for me that's a total revelation, you know, I really, I, I was born in 82 and I really like when I hear about the 60s, you know, women burning their bras and people political and San Francisco and, and uh, all the music that came about, I think, wow, revolution and power to the people, but actual power to the people comes about when we give up the right to be a victim. And this is a choice we need to make. No, no, no one can do it for us. You can burn your bra, but if you don't give up your right to be a victim, <laughs> with your uh, sense of freedom, but you, you, we want freedom whether we wear bras or not. Whether we are hippies or businessmen or um, doctors or psychologists, we want to enjoy freedom in immediacy of perception. When I was born, this is what I was dedicated to. I know it. I wanted to find freedom in immediacy of perception and to get to know my ability to be of benefit to all. I just know it, even if I don't remember anything. I just know that this is, this is why I came here. I wanted to find it. So with the balanced view training, I actually found the answer to all my problems and the answer to all those big big questions that lead people by the nose so confused, let them pay so much money to be more confused than taking them to India and other places, <laughs> hoping that they will reach some kind of a beautiful state and get there and be there and die there and, oh, okay, whoa, well, it's quite simple. If I choose to stop thinking for a moment, what remains? Really, please, please tell me, what remains? <laughs> if you stop thinking for a moment, what remains? your own magnificent intelligence, this power to know, clarity and cognizance. We don't need to mystify it, we don't need to make it more complicated. That will be so boring and it has been so boring. All the conundrum and gibberish people are talking about all day long about the nature of reality. So when you stop thinking, you keep it so simple, okay, oh whoa, open intelligence. Even if you don't know what is open intelligence, just stop thinking for a moment and see what remains for interest, you know, just for fun. <laughs> Your thoughts will come back, don't worry, okay? And you'll have many of them. Why? Because it's not about getting rid of thoughts and emotions, not at all. It's really seeing more and more in short moments of instinctive recognition that our data, thoughts, emotions or s and sensations, everything that appears or shines forth within this opening intelligence, magnificent intelligence that is yours, you don't need to reach it or achieve it, it's already yours, so relax. Um, everything is included, it's inseparable. It's not two, it's not like you and your dirty little thoughts or big thoughts and open intelligence somewhere in 2100. Uh, no, it's really right here. Short moment of instinctive <laughs> empowerment, short moment of spontaneous reality, recognizing this opening intelligence means that we train it up. Like we trained up reification or emphasizing, reification it's a, maybe a more complicated word to say, emphasizing our thoughts, emotions and sensations and believing that they have an independent nature. Now this is the greatest joke ever told. That, that thoughts, emotions and sensations, they have an independent nature. And we, this magnificent creature called human being, 
need to sort all day long our thoughts, emotions, sensations, and experiences. Good, bad, negative, okay, yeah, uh, wait, I need to think about that. No, what? all of this energy is consumed and wasted, really, when we talk about global warming and recycling and, and all the green movement. See <laughs> the damage th you create to your own environment, thinking that some of your thoughts and emotions are rubbish and others are great. And wh where is all this rubbish going to? With open intelligence, we see short moments of gold. Like this, whoa, whoa, I'm actually on an island of gold. Whoa, everything, inclu whoa, including this sensation, including this em uh, emotion. And we open up to great inseparability and inexhaustibility of benefit, benefit for all. Because you're no longer a victim. You chose, if you want to, yeah, we can't force you. But we invite you and encourage you to choose not to be a victim anymore of your data streams. It's a simple one, and um, it can be taken right now. It's kind of a commitment to yourself to treat yourself with dignity and respect. So this is what I chose when I met the training. In the beginning, I needed to deal with lots of arrogance and pride, I have to admit. And, uh, and when, it, when it relaxed a bit, then I saw that actually I'm living on an island of gold. My depression, for example, something that uh, was very isolating, you know, if I woke up in the morning, and I remember it since I was six years old, if I woke up in the morning and I was sad and I felt something in my heart, and I felt really ashamed, like, wh why do I feel so lousy and what did I do to feel? And I thought I started to build walls and I heard also that, oh, maybe somebody is sending me this bad message and I need to correct myself because I'm so flawed. But now, if the sense of depression or sadness arise, totally fine. Great, bring it on. Why not? What will happen to me? Will my open intelligence collapse and then I need to strive to have a different data? No, short moment of complete openness and then you see there's less and less focus on the description. And a beautiful metaphor for this, or something that, you know, if we don't get it in, uh, intellectually, is like the planets and stars at night when there's no electricity and all the planets and stars are there and it's vivid. These are like our data resting in the vast expanse of, of sky. And when the sun breaks and, and rises, less and less we notice the stars, the data, but it didn't go anywhere, it's still there. Like Mars is still there and the moon is still there, but we can't really see it. Because the power of open intelligence, the power of the sun, outshone these data streams. And that's how we've built conviction. That's how we build solidarity. Now, I really love the questions about cultural difference and, and all the diversity things. Because this, this was something of, of great concern to me personally. Because I was born in Australia and lived most of my life in Israel. And there, the cultural bias is very strong, and, and, and like everywhere, yeah? <laughs> Let's be real, like everywhere. But I felt it very strong when I was there. And the differences, emphasizing us and them, and they are like this, you, we are like this. And, and now I see with the, the perspective of open intelligence, it's not some kind of a contrived understanding of trying to really drill and understand the differences. It's really a deep understanding of where people are coming from. There's no line to be drawn. Everybody's united within open intelligence, whatever is your religion or background. So for me, it's great news because I found the solution with the four mainstays that brings about world peace. And that's what we are communicating and sharing here in our center and everywhere around the world, that it really doesn't matter where you come from. Once you clarify within yourself your own cultural data streams, you know, like, let's, I know there are some Israelis, so I hope I'll be politically correct. So for Israelis, oh, we need to be direct all the time, yeah? Otherwise, we will, someone will run us over. Or we had such bad history that we need to be totally strong and powerful. And <coughs> what about, you know, suddenly with the Four Mainstays lifestyle, I discovered also softness and, and yeah, the ability maybe to say, I don't know. I, I don't know the answer right now. Can I come back to you? So we use the beauty of our cultural differences for the benefit of all. And then all the things I shared before, which were in the state of being just a data stream, by the power of short moments, many times they become 
strength, you know, directness with open-heartedness is great. There's no time to waste and we don't want to play around and, and pretend that, yeah, there is a nice reality and we hope not to press any of your buttons. No, there is a great reality. You can enjoy it <laughs> if you want to and we will support you. This is the Four Mainstays. Four Mainstays are combined of short moments of open intelligence which are short moments of not intellectualizing everything and boring yourself to death, <laughs> but really relaxing exactly as you are, with sunglasses, no sunglasses, headaches, period pain, bras or no bras. <laughs> you just instinctively recognize for a short moment that natural perfection is, is exactly where you are. And your data streams are exactly the, the right data streams for you to recognize open intelligence and to empower yourself to enjoy it. it. It's so simple. And so short moments, they look like anything at all, you know. Wait, I'm taking a short moment. Okay, I took one. But it can be also while speaking, going to the toilet, a wonderful experience in India, and uh, cooking or anything at all. It, short moments are spontaneous, so there's no need to think about them. But, and when you stop thinking about them, then they become more and more spontaneous. And if it's hard for you to recognize open intelligence for a short moment, then you have a training, or a training which is written texts, and, and we sit together in groups, clarify all of the world's issues in one hour. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> feels totally empowered and enlivened and, and united. Again, we have people here from all over the world. Th that's already an incredible answer to your question about cultural difference. Nobody's sitting there with a rule book of, oh, this is okay or not. It's really the spontaneous ethics that each one of us has the responsibilities to connect to and not to be biased or, or buy to our ideas about how people should behave. And, uh, and these are spontaneous. They are, they, are, they are response to each time, place and circumstance and the result of benefit fall. Okay, so we have a training. So you like open the text, and we have text. If we have positive data, that's fine. Oh, relief. If we have negative data, that's fine. There is no need to control the natural flow of data. Okay, that's the answer to my questions. And if you open a different page, with ease of transportation, the internet and telecommunication available today, this is the first time in history that everyone can, can know this, in their own direct experience, and people are demonstrating its powers, power together, like sunshine streaming from the sun. Okay. <laughs> Why no one told me about that before? <laughs> Why did I waste 25 years of my life to find the answer to all my questions? So you see in balanced view, you have the training and then it's great, you are there and you get all the answers you want to and also the ones you don't want to. <laughs> you'll see all your arrogance, pride, and jealousy, and envy, and sexual desire. You'll see it blazingly obvious. You think you're going to die, but then you won't. <laughs> so it's an intense journey of complete happiness and joy. And then when the training doesn't seem to work, or it's great, and it works, and you want to enjoy a bit more of open intelligence juice, then you rely on uh, the community. We have here many people who can raise their hand and say that they've been involved for, for a few months or a couple of years or more. And if you have any questions, you can ask them, how is to live the best life ever? You can start like that. Yeah. And then say, my name is, <laughs> or how are you today? How, how is to be so stable and confident? Please let me know. I would, love I, lo I would love to know what you know and experience. These are courageous people, the people who are relying on open intelligence, because in our society right now, we are very biased. I'm, I'm repeating this word, we are so biased. We think that we are limited, that some things are good and some things are bad, and we are totally divided and mixed up. And, and the result, I can give you a few websites to check if you don't know what are the results. Or even just go here in the streets where there is increasing violence daily. I know this place for almost eight years now, and there is increasing violence. People are not becoming more stable they're becoming more violent and twisted because we all want the education in the nature of mind. And they are, they are trainers. Trainers are human beings, guess what? We, are not, we didn't come from the stars or pretend to be a star. 
We have people exactly like you chose to live the four mainstays lifestyle and we, we are committed to that. And, and the heart wish, you know, I can share my heart wish is to share it with everyone who is interested. <coughs> and to share my story and my, my, my um, conviction and assurance of using the four mainstays and outshining all of my data streams.